Hello, my dolls, and welcome to idolsmedia.com. This is the iPhone series. This is the art of being a media star. <laughs> I've gotten over 200 talents on the air, and some of the ways I've gotten them there is through my signature on camera techniques of feeling present, feeling in your full body when you're on camera, and there are several ways to do that. One of the ways I make people feel really comfortable on camera is that I give them an assignment. Uh, my clients get an assignment that they should go home and really shoot as much video as they can, whether they have an iPhone or a camcorder or, an, or a even a flip camera. Um, even in front of their web camera, it's important just to be on camera as much as possible. Any opportunity you get to be on camera will raise your comfort level for on camera. It's the more you're on it, the better and the better you'll feel on it and you'll just want to be on it all the time. So it's a, it's a bit narcissistic, I know. Uh, so today I'm gonna share with you three tips of doing great videos, whether you're doing them for your website or you're doing them for your career or your boyfriend or girlfriend, if you know what I mean. Um, tip number one is have a really cool background and I'm not sure if I'm getting too much ceiling because if you go too low, you're gonna get too much ceiling. Um, but if you do it just right, you should get a cool background. This is really cool because it's a corner. So it gives you depth of field and there's a really cool Muhammad Ali painting there um, done by Andy Warhol's apprentice that I got a few years back and that gives it color and depth and it gives a really cool interesting background. Another thing you want to have is enough of light. You want to light, light, light it up because when you're shooting at night inside there's not, usually there's people don't have enough light and their videos are poorly lit so you just want to have a lot of light. Something to light your hair as you see. I'm going to be blinding you with the overhead light but that's lighting my hair and it's doing all kinds of things. Also you can have a really plain background like this. Make sure you don't go too high so you don't get too much ceiling. But you have a plain background like this. This is a great background. It's very cool. Um, you don't want to get a shadow so what you want to do is put another light on here. I'm using this light for my front camera light but normally I put that light in the back and it looks really really pretty. Um, I didn't do it today. Sorry I got lazy. Um, but putting a back light will put a spot on it and it'll make it glow and it'll make the the wall look really cool. This is another cool wall with some of my achievements on here. There is this the platinum album from my girl group that I have, Seventeen Magazine, La, uh, Latina Magazine, and my SAG award from uh, SAG nomination from um, Six Feet Under. And it's a really cool wall because it gives me credibility and it looks cool and it doesn't importantly, most importantly, it doesn't distract from the message. You don't want anything to distract from the message because the message is the star, not you. The message is the star. Remember that. Now, I'm going to give you another tip. I'm going to come with me to the bathroom because another tip that's really important is that I find that people really get wrong is that you put aside an hour for hair, makeup, and clothes. Trust me on this. Most people rush their videos, and you can't do that. You want to make sure that you like what you see in there. You want to really make sure you like what you see. So it's important that you take your time and make sure you get well, this lighting. It's not that great right here. Maybe this is better. Uh, you like what you see and that you really want to do more videos because if you don't like what you see, you're not going to no, you're not going to do the video again. Also, make sure you keep your chin down, which I probably haven't been doing for this video, um, because that is really a very flattering way to do on-camera video, um, on-camera anything. Um, that's for acting and or hosting. All right, so let's get another tip. We're going to go here in the dark again, and ta-da! We're back here. Okay, so let me sit down. So another tip I'd say would be, ooh, you must have gotten dizzy. Watch, don't make jerky movements like that because it gets people dizzy. Sorry about that. So another thing that you want to have is great content, sizzling content. So that is what's king on the web right now. Um, besides what it looks like, you want to have really good content. It's stimulating information and make sure you punch some of your words so that you can wake people up. Um, make sure you get the right angles if you're giving a boyfriend a video or a girlfriend a video, make sure you get the right angles, if you know what I mean. 
uh, controversy, confusion, all those things outside the box, things that come out of the blue are great for videos as you just saw my whole angle thing, you didn't expect that. So controversy is king on the screen. It helps, conflict is drama, it's great, it's extremes. The screen is all about extremes, extremely funny, extremely sad, extremely tragic. So make sure you come with an extreme. That's all I have for today. I'm going to do a lot more videos. Check this out. You can write to me at idalis, idalis at idalismedia.com. That's idalis at idalismedia.com.